Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen. First off, just a quick apology. Uh, we were meant to be uh, here yesterday. We're not here yesterday, we're here today. So <laughs> absolutely fantastic to have you here. Apologies about that, but you're still gonna get your three workouts. So we can't hang around today because we've got a VIP in the house and she's got loads of work to do this afternoon. She's very, very important, so we've got to get her. Moving. So what we are going to do today guys, you are going to need some space. This is your first ever time with us. I'm Tim, this is Amy, very good to see you. Amy's going to be doing the workout, I'm going to be coaching through the workout. Um, fantastic to have you along if this is your first time and fantastic to have you along if this is your 64th time because we're on workout 64. So what we are going to do is you are going to need some space. It is leg strength day so we're going to really dig deep into the legs. We're gonna do five exercises, for which we're gonna do first set of nine reps on each one, second set we're gonna do 12 reps, third set we're gonna do 15 reps, so that final set we're gonna be nicely fatigued in the legs, um, but we're gonna push through it, we're gonna switch on mentally, which is awesome. You're gonna need weight, um, and in regard to weight, I want you to work with the most substantial weight that you can. So either a weighted plate, or if you've got access to a barbell, we can do the squats, we can do the deadlifts, utilizing that barbell as well. For Amy today, we've got a 10 kg plate and 5 kg plate, so she can be utilizing both of those weights as we go through. Sandwich between your five leg exercises, we have three uh, 30 second bouts of core exercise as well. So if you're on a hard ground, you might wanna have a mat um, on the carpet, on the grass if you're doing this outside, um, but you are gonna be doing some lying on your back um, core work as well, shall we get started? Right, so nice and easy. Are you hooked up with the heart rate monitor yeah, already? Ready. So she's ready, she's on ready. it, she's done. She's smashing it, here we go, we've got a loud and clear. Right, so let's just get those legs nice and warm. So let's start off with our good old traditional squat and squeeze. Okay, so squeeze back through those elbows, drive nice and low with your squat. If this is your first time, make sure we're dropping through Hinging through hip, knee, and ankle, okay, and sitting down backwards. So the weight is going to be midfoot heel, okay, not to the point where we're pushing down on our toes, lifting our heels, and driving those knees too far forward. Excellent. You always forget the shoulder bit, don't you? Oh, you never reach. You never reach. Excellent. Big squeeze back. <coughs> good work. Good work. So it looks like we're coming through loud and clear. We've got a good crowd out there, right? So just relax that one out. Now just want to do some big. Opposite leg drives, nice and athletic. Use those arms again to power those knees nice and high. Really drive those knees up. Get them as high as you can. Just recruiting now into those hip flexors to do. Nice. Super job. Super job, relax out of that. Come back and we're just gonna drop into a squat, step back. Drop into a squat, into a lunge. We can split squats, drop in and drive really low and push through the heel push through the heel of that front foot the reason i say that just to activate that glute that little bit more as we drive away nice job chin and chest that tall excellent right this time lying down on your back we're just going to do some glute bridges just to do exactly what i just said activating more into the glutes so drop okay heels really close into the butt and then you're just driving up, squeezing those butt cheeks, bracing those abdominals, so we get that nice iron import effect, running from the shoulder all the way to the knee. Excellent job. Give me three more of those. And up you come. Super job. This time we're just going to drop into a squat, just going to activate a bit of sideways movement. We're just going to drop, stay low, and they're just going to walk across your room. So just back and forth, do three lengths either way, and then we are done for our warm up and we're gonna get cracking. Well done. How is everyone today? Thursday, nearly the end of the week. I'm pretty sure that was two. One more, come on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've still got one more to do. No, no, not today. Not on her watch. Right, okay, so what we're gonna kick off with is we are gonna do a round of squats to start. So pick up a decent amount of weight. So A, if you go with the 10 kgs, all right? So challenge, hold it and clamp it in here at shoulder height if you're using a single plate. If you're onto the back squat, completely fine utilizing a barbell. Or if you really wanna push it, take that single plate and push it above your head. 
Okay, so from here, nine reps, three seconds down, one up, two, one, power up, three, two, one, power up. Let's go. So nice and slow on the down, nine reps to begin, two, excellent, three, so remember we're getting that butt down and back, and as we drive up tall, a really big squeeze through those glutes. Two more. Nice. Eight. Go on, one more flat. You skip the warm up. There you go, brilliant. Now I want you to double your weight. So grab another plate if you've got it. Okay, so just let it just hang. Okay, we're going to go straight into straight leg deadlift. Okay, Amy doesn't actually know what's coming, so that's why. Okay, so shoulder roll at the top. Okay, keeping weights nice and close. And they're literally just going to run down the front of the legs, and it's all the hinge at the hip. So it's going to feel like you're pushing those hips up and back. That's it, good job. Keeping the back straight. Just give me a shoulder roll at the top ends, that's it. And as you can see with Amy, that shoulder roll, she then pins the shoulders back, keeps that chest nice and tall, and you let the chest lead the movement, okay? Keeping that back straight. If you feel yourself rounding, just reset yourself at the top. So again, we're doing nine reps of that one. Excellent, and a big drop. As you can see, Amy's really squeezing her butt through to come up into that extension. Weights down, hit the deck. Glute bridge. Glute bridge. So you can either do this body weight, or if you want to, you can have a plate just sitting over the hips and add that and just hold that in place with your hands. Okay, so nine repetitions of that one. Again, if you want to intensify this, and if you wanted to extend the workout a little bit more, you could do nine on each leg as a single leg option. But for the workout today, we're just going to do the nine as they are. Superb. Excellent. Coming up, grab your heavy weight again. Okay, and this time what we're going to do is a sumo squat. So you're going to take it really wide, feet slightly, so toes slightly out, so they're almost in a V formation. Okay, hang the weight just down between your legs, and you're going to drop, load into those hamstrings, and drive. So you're dropping now. Drive. Excellent. Hold it for a second at the bottom. Excellent. Just so we load. We're now getting into the inner thighs. Loading into those hamstrings. But just like we do with our squat, big squeeze through those butt cheeks as you live rise up. Excellent. Give me one more for luck. I don't believe that was nine. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. All right. So keep weight in hand. Last one on the legs. Squatting again, okay? It's a squat marathon today. Plate, you're gonna drive and raise one leg. Drive, raise one leg. Amy's going off with a press. Nice job. So, we're doing nine off each side. Two. Two. Three. Last one on the legs, guys. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Well done, finish it off. Well done, well done. Oh. Excellent. So once you've done your nine, take a breather. Have the legs fill. Uh, yes, sorry. Good. Switch on. Yeah. Nice job. Okay, so we've got three exercises to do. I'm just going to give you a quick breather for 20 seconds. Then we're going to get going. We are three rounds off, 30 seconds. You're going to do dead bugs, first exercise. For that one, take a relatively light plate, so not as heavy as you've been using on the legs, okay? Single hand, or if you want to take a, an option on that, just reduce it down. Don't use the weighted plate, for your choice. So, we're going to get going in 10 seconds. So we've got Straight dead bugs. Shots. Whoa, he's a bit loud today. Okay, so you're going to drop those arms back, and you're going to alternate the leg extensions for 30 seconds. Off we go. Nice job. Let's turn him down a bit, shall we? Turn him down. Superb, excellent. So 30 seconds in this one. Next exercise we're gonna go up in straight into is an upper abdominal press. Now that one you can either keep the legs in the air or we can drop legs down. So stay with guys, eight seconds. Short and sharp, minute and a half, 90 seconds of work. Two, one. Okay, so from there, pushing the plate straight up. So as you can see, 
Amy's keeping her feet in the air, she's taking the harder option. If you want to, just lower the feet down to the ground, but use and control that push as high as you can through the upper abdominal muscles, and also that control as you descend to the ground. Excellent, well done. You're doing as many as you can. If you need to take a breather, take that breather. Eight seconds. And on this next one, so let's drop the feet down, keep the knees high, and it's alternating knee touches. So you're reaching across to the outside of the knee now, and again, it's an abdominal crunch, but now we're getting that little bit of rotation in there, okay, to bring in our obliques as well. Excellent, final one, guys, you've got 15 seconds. Just gonna turn him down a bit, he's a bit loud. Super job. Five seconds, guys, finish it off. Three, two, one, relax. Brilliant, so that is set one done. We are not going to hang around. We're going to keep the intensity up. We're going to go straight into set two. But this time we're doing 12 reps on each exercise. So we're starting with that squat. Remember, that's either a back squat if you're using a barbell, loaded plate like Amy, or overhead if you want to up the ante. So remember, three seconds on the down, one on the up. We're going to 12 reps. Excellent job. Stay with it, guys. 25 minutes of hard work, but we're going to keep pushing out those reps, we're going to keep the energy high. Well done. Excellent. What are you on there, Ames? Eight. Brilliant. Nine. Well done. Three to come. It's going to build, it's going to build. Super job, super job. Right, then grab your second weight. Stay with it. Big shoulder roll at the top. Hinging at that hip wing to our straight leg deadlift. So bring the weight around to the front and then keeping that back nice and straight. Remember, set yourself up. Roll those shoulders back and then you're dropping into it. In terms of your neck, if you feel like as you're coming over, you're looking up, okay, just let your neck go with your spine. All the hinge at the hip. We don't want to put any excess stress through those neck. Well done. Excellent work. What are we on, Ames? Nine. Nine, well done. Big three to the finish. And then we're hitting the deck with that glute bridge. Have a plate available this time. Okay, down we go. Glute bridge. Grab a plate and just have that plate sitting across your hips if you want to up the ante this time. Okay, so bring feet are in line with hips and knees. And then it's a big drive up through that butt. Nice work. Good work. Don't rush it, don't go too quick. All about keeping the muscle and the tension, controlling that movement, and try not to completely unload when you hit the deck. Okay, so when you touch the ground, be ready to drive straight back up again. Superb. We're into our sumo, so this time, okay? So take your stance, nice and wide, dropping hip, knee, ankle, big squeeze and a big push as you elevate up. That's it, well done. Take a pause at the bottom just for a second. Excellent, well done. So me and Amy had a great conversation prior to this workout. She came down from her working desk, working very, very hard. She goes, Tim, anything but legs today. I told her the bad news. And then she goes, and none of those squats either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done. Superb, okay, so final one. It says squat, drive, leg rise. Squat, drive, leg rise. Excellent. So really cut that weight in nice and hard. That's brilliant. So we're doing 12 off each leg. So this is going to burn. This is going to go deep. But this brings us to the end of round two on our legs. Excellent. So stay with it. Nice. Think quality, guys. And as you drive up, drive nice and tall. And try and be as minimal in terms of that sideways lean as you can. Brace those abdominals, power it up, and let the hip do the work in terms of really getting down and out to abduct that hip away. Well done. Keep the weight back on those squats. What are we on, Ed? Nine. Nine. Big three to go. Keep it up. We've got to come up with a name for this one, I think. Excellent, well done, well done. Superb, superb. So once you've done your 12, 
Take a breather. Slowly come down to the floor. We've got those three exercises again on the core. Okay, so starting off with your first one is going to be your dead bugs. Not sure where that went where. There we go. Okay, so kick it off with dead bugs. You've got 10 seconds to press. Starting session. Hit the deck, slowly come down. Remember, here, if you want to, you go left, right with weight going back. If you want to take the option to make it easier, and lose the weight and just do body weight. Okay, if you want to make it harder, take both legs out together, just like Amy is there. Brilliant work. Really important, the legs work so as well to the arms, we utilize our body as one. Not very often we work in isolation. Well done. So it's really important that we work our legs and integrate into that core musculature as well. Well done. Four seconds, then we're into our upper ab press. Okay, up we go. So the harder option is keep those legs in the air. Really squeezing up through the upper abdomen. If you want to take an easier option, drop the feet down to the ground. As many reps as you can, guys, in this time. Can you take a breather? Take that breather and rejoin. Superb. Nice work. 10 seconds to come. Finish it off, finish it off, five. Okay, and then weight is down, and we're into the alternating side knee touches. So get as high as you can, really come up into that crunch, and reach past the knee if you're able to. That's it, get a nice degree of rotation, but really crunching up at the same time. That's it, control the movement all the way through. 15 seconds. Excellent, guys. Eight seconds, finish off, then that's round two. We've just got the big woolly mammoth to come, which is your round of 15. Well done, relax it down, super job. Super duper. So, we have got one round to come. That is your round of 15. How are we feeling, legs? How are those legs feeling? Oh. Might be a bit of jelly legs walking out of here. It's good, it's good. Feeling good, give them a shake. Take a breather, grab your juice, have a little sweep. Yeah? Yeah, it's the one just over there. Alrighty guys, so are we ready? Final round of 15. We've been going for 15 minutes so far. Let's finish it off. Nice and strong, short and sharp, that's it, perfect. Remember, three on the down, so slow it down on the down. 15. And then a big drive up, really driving through that butt as we push the world away through the heels. Excellent, hold down, getting right down and low. Really drop those hips. And then a big drive up, bracing the abdominals as we do. Superb, guys. Round of 15, not easy, not easy at all. The burner, the finisher. Excellent guys, keep it going, keep it going. I know Sarah Nelson, you'll be enjoying this one. <laughs> Superb. So remember, on that, give me a shoulder roll at the top end, so that's it. Keep those shoulders pinned, so we're in our straight leg deadlift, 15 reps. Let that neck go with that spine. Superb guys, really push those hips up and back. You should feel this as a nice lengthening through the hamstrings into the glutes, down that posterior chain. But really important, we keep those shoulders switched on. So if you need to, just reset. When you're at the top, give it a shoulder roll and go again. Excellent, 15 repetitions. Then we're gonna hit the deck into our glute bridge next. Don't rush it, take your time with it. Nice work, nice, nice work. Big squeeze through that butt. We're gonna have butts of steel. Butts of steel, if we haven't already. If we haven't already, well done. So, glute bridge, down to the deck, take your time. Have that weight, challenge yourself this time, guys. Have that weight sit over your hips. Nice job. Bracing the abdominals so you rise as one. Okay, so hips are coming up, keeping that body nice and straight, ironing board, really drive up, squeezing that butt. Nice job. Excellent, so you're going to 15. Excellent, excellent. And once you touch the ground, drive straight away. 
Let that activation, that touch point, be your activation into your next repetition. Superb. Grab a heavy weight. Sumos. Yeah. So just oh, yeah, drop it down the tree. Yeah. Nice and wide with your start. Big drive. Big drive. Before the absolute finisher. Look at that. Nice power up. Nice power up, Ames. Bam. Pause for a second at the bottom. And then big drive. Excellent. Well done. Excellent work. Excellent work. Loving Amy's attire today. I think that's frozen. Oh. Not in the mail. Let me check it out. Still getting here. Oh, here we are. We're back. We're back. Alrighty, guys. Sorry about that. We had a bit of a uh, tackers issue there. Not sure how long the screen froze for, but we are back. So you should be doing a round of 15 for each of those exercises. Just as Amy finishes, just as Amy finishes. Okay, so if you haven't uh, completed those yet, so it's 15 on each of those, okay? And then you're hitting your deck for the final 30 second stint on each of those. So, are you ready, Amy? Ready. Okay, so if so you just join us, so final core round, grab your plate, 30 seconds of dead bugs first, here we go, off you go. So dead bugs, alternating leg. Remember, if you want to take the harder option, final round, we're done after this. Double legs, just like Henry did there. Excellent, super job. 15 seconds, guys. So stay strong to the finish. Stay strong to the finish. Excellent, stay with it, stay with it. Five seconds. Two. One, and relax that down. Okay, upper ab press, off you go, straight in. That's it. So, starting with Amy, okay, where she was, feet were down, that's completely fine. But if you want to intensify that a little bit more, get those ankles in the air. Challenge yourself for this final round, guys. Brilliant, well done. Stay with, stay with. Well done, finish it off. Two. One, relax that down, excellent. And then final one, we're into those crossovers to really reach down the side of the knee. We've got 20 seconds, guys, that's it. And then you are done. Excellent, 15, finish it, stay strong. Seven seconds, five, all the way in, well done Ames, great job, finish it off, bang, well done, very, very well done. Session is complete, you are all finished. Okay, so guys, we've been going for just under 25 minutes there, absolutely fantastic work. So, sorry about the technical issue in the middle of there, don't know what happened there. Um, but hopefully you've got the gist of that. So it, on each of those, we're going to do a round of nine, a round of 12, a round of 15. So that is all absolutely terrific. And hopefully you have now got those done. All right. So any questions, as always, please fire them over. 
Make sure that you follow this up with some good nutrition. Make sure you get those nutrients back on board. Um, and otherwise, we will see you on the next one. We are going to be back tomorrow, and we will not have technological issues tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow is going to be upper body strength. So join us for that. Um, as I say, any questions, shout. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Terrific job today. Stay strong, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow.